Hey guys, I'm Meteor it's Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We have a powerful setup for the West coming at us with this atmospheric river. It's looking to be strong to maybe even extreme at the onset on 1227. And then it may continue with different waves of moisture, four to five waves of moisture, all the way to the 4th, uh, January 4th of the new year. We could be looking at totals of one to five feet or more in a couple of locations, and everyone's going to benefit. We're going to see overrun precip, blow off precip all the way into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and Colorado with this type of setup. Let me just show you what the uh, the infrared satellite looks like right now so you can kind of see how far back this thing reaches. Lime green arrows representing this Pineapple Express, a conveyor belt of moisture reaching even further west than Hawaii. So it's grabbing all of this moisture and transporting it in. And there's the initial big low hitting the Pacific Northwest and BC right now to kick it all off. Um, let me just show you, I'll take this full on the, uh, the jet pattern. Um, look at it. I mean, it extends just perfectly west to east, just taking the moisture, transporting it, and slamming it into the Sierra, the Cascades, the high volcanoes, and then eventually it gets moved into the interior. So you're looking at orographic snow, you're looking at atmospheric river snow, Everything is aligning for this to really generate some of the biggest totals we've seen. And that's saying a lot so far this season because we've had a couple of these ARs already this season. Um, but this one's got some punch to it. All right, let me just show you what the intensity could be on this. So at, this is um, integrated uh, vapor transport. So IVT plume forecast 1227. The onset could be strong to extreme. You see the categories over here. A little bit of a lull after that, but it comes back at a moderate intensity, late 1229, 1230, and 1231, maybe into 1-1. So you're talking about piling up different waves of moisture, one on top of another, um, coming in with this, uh, this rich flow into the Sierra. Let me just show you the timing of all this. So this is the forecast radar and satellite. So on Tuesday at 6 a.m., here it comes, big boy into the inner mountain with heavy precip. That moves away. Here comes wave number two into the West Coast Thursday at 6. Here comes another wave Friday at 6. Here comes another one on Saturday at 6. You get the idea. These are just lined up in the Pacific. Let me do it one more time. So there's Tuesday at 6. There's Wednesday at 6 a.m. Here's Thursday at 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, next wave, Friday at 6, like a parade of storm systems. And there's Saturday at 6, there's Saturday night, and there's more action behind this all the way into the 3rd and 4th of the new year. So you can see why the totals are going to be so big with this thing. All right, let's do this in phases. 1226 through 1228. So you're just starting to get that first wave of moisture from the atmospheric river, and the totals are generally 1 to 2 feet, from Whistler to Baker to Bachelor down to uh, Tahoe and Mammoth. Now, I will say... The big caveat I had with this is that with the stronger the atmospheric river pattern, you tend to raise the snow levels up. So the Sierra, that has to be a concern, especially with the first storm on the 27th. You may be looking at abnormally high snow levels. That could cut down on some accumulation. I don't think the snow levels will be quite as high, though, with the additional storm systems or additional waves of moisture down the road. But the first one on the 27, 28 could be higher than normal. Um, we're going to see blow off into the Tetons, Idaho, and the Wasatch with probably one to two feet in the Wasatch. In Colorado, the western slope will do best. We'll, do, uh, we'll get the most accumulation with anywhere from 12 to 24 inches, less as you move towards Vail, less as you move towards the Front Range High Peaks. But that's just the initial part of this. Look at 1229 through 14. The numbers are big. Another 50 to 60 inches in the Sierra. Another 30 to 40 in the Wasatch, potentially another 20 up in the Tetons, another foot up in Idaho. Um, look at Colorado, another one to two feet there as well. Um, and this one benefits more places in Colorado Vail, the Front Range High Peaks, and big time snow, western and southwestern Colorado. The numbers are really going to be big. If you want to see this as a sum total, I mean, you're looking at just a rough estimate of 1226 through 14 of about 60 inches in the Wasatch, the big little Cottonwood Canyon, big and little Cottonwood Canyons could be pushing 60 inches. Less obviously in Park City. You could be looking at over 30 up in the Tetons. You could be looking at 75 to 80 grand totals there in the Sierra. In Colorado, you could be looking at, you know, one to three feet or more 
I mean, look at Purgatory, Telluride, Silverton, Wolf Creek. You're over three feet down there. You're more at four feet in some of those places. So, you know, again, this is just a broad brush of 1226-14 with some of those big totals. But this is the way it's looking right now with this fire hose of moisture. Um, what about the northeast? So the northeast, unfortunately, the pattern just does not support big snow. You know, one to four inches, a couple of small clippers, some lake effect, which doesn't show up on here, and maybe a larger storm on 1-1, one, one, but it looks to be mainly rain. So the numbers just are not that big. But back to the west, this is where we'll end, guys. Again, the pattern. I mean, aside from all of this big snow, obviously the, the avalanche danger will be going up significantly with this. Um, so keep that in mind, especially if you're going into the backcountry. Um, but this is going to be a big period for the west, 12 26 through one four. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Hope you had a great Christmas and New Year's to come. I'll keep the updates coming all the way through. Take care.